Morning, morning. What's up, everybody? Just wanted to share some things with you. I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, asking different real estate questions, so I figured I'd start a new series on real estate, the real deal, what it's really like in the uh, real estate world here. As you can see, my beautiful umbrella. Hey, look. Shout out to Keystone Title Services. Gave me this beautiful umbrella. Some days you got to take the train. Other days you got to drive. Some days you work in the suburbs. Some days you work in the city. And it's definitely, definitely nothing like TV. Uh, real estate rehabs. Sometimes you're over budget. Sometimes you're under budget. Sometimes your contractor doesn't show up. Sometimes your contractor is drunk and you can't come to the site. Sometimes your contractor is kicking butt and doing great jobs. Sometimes the uh, house doesn't get sold. I mean, there's all different things that can happen in real estate. As unfortunately on TV, which years ago, me and Mike Soroka won a little video series, if you guys remember, called Flip That House for Philadelphia. This is back before that was even popular, probably 06, 07, somewhere in that range. And uh, what they told us on the TV shows was, we don't really care if you sell the house. All those numbers are based upon what you're asking, and we don't ever follow if you sell it. I said, I can't do it then. It doesn't make sense. You've got to sell it. It doesn't mean anything if you don't sell it. So the Real Deal Real Estate Series is going to be taking you through a different series of days and things that we're doing. Uh, today is I'm going to speak to some agents on how to do two things. A, how to create more wealth for themselves, uh, and two, how to put more money in the pocket for their clients. And we're releasing a product called Turnkey. Uh, Marisa, you like that, don't you? Um, so she, uh, so basically, what Turnkey product is? We'll find a property for someone, we'll rehab it, um, we'll put a tenant in place, and we'll give it back to the end user with a fee in there. It's all built in, and uh, they'll get six to nine, sometimes ten percent on their money. There's people out there promoting eleven, twelve, fifteen percent. I don't want the house to fall apart, and I want to give a good product and money is not everything. I would rather put more quality into something and deliver above and beyond than put something out there that shouldn't be put out there. So what we're gonna be talking about number one is how to create more inventory today. And then number two is turnkey products. The agents can make money and then B, the um, client can make money. There's some people out there doing a turnkey product um, in Philadelphia. There's a big, big opportunity on it. So we're gonna take advantage of that in the city and the suburbs. Um, and just want to do a little intro today. So I'm doing real estate investing. I'm doing uh, realtor work. I'm very fortunate. My wife helps me with all my friends um, and we um, co-work together on the realtor work for our friends. But I just wanted to kind of give a quick intro today about the, what's a day in life of real estate. Because uh, you know what? I'm sick and tired of the video series, or not the video series, the TV shows is showing how easy it is to get real estate done. Um, Realtors do not get base salaries. Realtors are straight commission. Real estate agents only get paid if the house sells. Real estate agents don't get benefits. Real estate agents have to pay their own um, health benefits. Uh, if you work for a company right now and you get health benefits, you're saving probably $800 to $3,000 a month. $800 to $3,000 a month are numbers that I'm hearing people are paying for health benefits. Um, so they're straight commission, they get some leads, but they're out on their own trying to find their own business on a daily basis, um, which, you know, a lot of people don't realize it's not that easy. Most of our days as a real estate agent is looking for business. Um, on a day, average day in real estate last night, I started yesterday at 8 o'clock. I stopped around 10, 11 o'clock. I took an hour break with my daughter, hung out with her, put her to bed worked while I watched the Eagles, and uh, today I'm getting on a train at eight. I'll probably work till seven, hang out with my daughter for an hour and a half, and then work a little bit more. I love it. Some people might say you work too much, but if you love what you do, it's cool. Um, but just trying to keep it real and what the day in the life of real estate is. So I'm gonna bring you a whole bunch of different things. I'm gonna bring you about rehabbing houses. I'm gonna bring you the things about being a realtor. I'm gonna bring you things about personal life, business life, you know, just sharing wealth and knowledge out there, showing you mistakes, showing what we stink at, what we're good at. And what I hope to get out of this is, number one, get some more people out of their corporate jobs that don't like their job, uh, live life with no regrets. I really, really learned a lot about myself recently over the last year in tennis. 
Uh, number two, I hope to put some more money in people's pockets as real estate agents. Number three, put more money in the pockets of investors, giving people other ideas of how to invest in real estate instead of giving it to a large mutual fund or someone else that they don't know that doesn't control their money, doesn't see their money, can't physically touch it. That is my goal of this, and I hope to impact some people. And most importantly, last, the last thing is we never know when our last day is. So some people might think this is corny. If you don't like it, turn it off. If you don't like it, make fun of me. I don't care. Uh, there's a lot more things in life to worry about than that. Keeping it real. Have a great day. If I can help you any questions on real estate, hit me up. You know how I'm going to get in touch with you. Later. Peace.